Hi, Gemini. <clears throat> this is Sandy Couture, and I am here doing an astrological tarot reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of September 2021. So um, this month is an interesting month. It's actually going to feel like an easy month for most of us because all of the personal planets, the day-to-day -day, um, personality and, and conscious life planets, the sun, the moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus, all of those are moving direct this month and they're all in great aspects. There's no hard aspects to them or no pressuring aspects to them this month, which is really, really nice. So on the surface level, everything is great. However, the undercurrent of transformation, which is um, ruled by six planets that are, are deeply transformational planets, they deal with our spirituality and with our social mores, how we operate in society. All six of those planets are retrograde, which means that they are all slowing down and when that happens, retrograde season in planets is about stopping and looking, taking a look, making sure you have all the information. So Pluto is transformation, Uranus, quick, brilliant change, Saturn, hard work and manifestation, Neptune, dreaminess, Chiron, the wounded healer, and Jupiter, the planet of expansion. All six of those are in retrograde. So even though on the surface this month seems like an easy breezy forward moving month, on the deep under undercurrents we have a lot of transformational things going on. So don't ignore that. Please pay attention to the deep intuitions you get, the messages you get, and your deep transformational soul growth. The best analogy I can come up with is if you were on a sailboat, the personal planets are like the wind. It's in your sails, it's moving you forward. There's sunshine, there's a calm sea that looks calm. However, the other planets, the transformational planets, represent the deep currents in the water. So to be a good navigator, you not only need to take into consideration the wind, but also the water currents. So that's how you should move through your month this month. So the first card that I pulled for you, Gemini, is a very typical Gemini card, it's the lovers. And the lovers are about integrating male and female, integrating a creation and action. So sometimes, Gemini, you get caught up in your head. The lovers is telling me that it's time for you to use your heart. Integrate your heart and head, your male and female aspects of yourself. Don't just be caught in your brain going bouncing around, getting more information. The surprise card is the Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles is an earth card. The Queen of Pentacles is the highest feminine expression of this particular suit. And she's just giving you an awareness that you have a lot of wonderful things to share with humanity and to move forward in that way. So don't get caught up in just trying to get information, information, information. Get caught up this month in trying to help others be inspired and move forward. The um, process card for you this month is the judgment card. And this card is about like the walls of Jericho falling down. You know, the word sin means past mistakes. So all sins are forgiven. All past mistakes are forgiven. Let go of things you woulda, shoulda, coulda done and move forward. Forgive yourself deeply and internally and forgive others because when you don't forgive, it just hurts you and not anybody else. So the most likely outcome card, should you choose to follow this path or take this mission that I gave you, is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is about being in a really great place uh, materially and financially. Three is a trilogy, uh, body, mind, spirit, father, son, holy ghost. And the pentacles are about uh, material and, and financial well-being. So you'll be in a really, really good place this month if you just get out of your head, use your heart, and share with others what you can. Hopefully that was helpful for you Geminis out there. Have a wonderful month. Thanks for watching.